Our first uh, picture stop of the day on the 21st of June of 2015 finds us in Cedarville in uh, Modoc County. We're in the Surprise Valley and as I understand it, this is named the Surprise Valley because when the first explorers, the first white men came through here, they were surprised that the valley was here. Here's the Kressler and Bonner trading post, still in Cedarville. Here's a little bit more of the main drag. There's a Cedarville garage with the, with the wagons in front. The cross street right here is uh, California 299, which used to be US 299 prior to the 1964 realignment of the highway numbers in California. And an old Coca-Cola sign on the side of the wall. The old Surprise of Valley Drugstore. Our next stop finds us at the end of California 299 at the Nevada-California state line. That's Washoe County in Nevada, the same Washoe County that Reno is the county seat. It extends all the way up to the Oregon border, which we're not too far from, maybe 30 miles or so. Our next stop finds us in what I assume is Via, V-Y-A. I've seen this on Nevada maps. There used to be something here, but there isn't any more. But the road department's here. There's a sign earlier that says, Northern Washoe County, no emergency services. So you're pretty much on your own out here. This is just God's country out here. A couple of these ranches have a cabins and RV spots, but we are kind of far out. Anyway, look at this beautiful sage. And here's our 360. We're heading back to Cedarville now. I've uh, assaged my curiosity about Via. I wanted to take a little film of in front of the 8A sign just to show that I, yes, have in fact been on Nevada Highway 8A in very rural Washoe County, Nevada. Our next stop finds us in Fort Bidwell, California, in Modoc County still. Here is the old school, which is right at the north end of town. One of the locals stopped and asked if we were lost. I assured him I knew exactly where I was. I asked him about the fort, and he said it's on the Indian Reservation, and all that's left is a foundation. So I don't think we're going to hassle finding it. I still need to be careful that I don't overdo things. So, the A's are still on, so it's about 3.30 or so. We're going to start heading back. It's still, it's still an hour back to camp. Look at this beautiful scenery.
So we're gonna go back in the in the Fort Bidwell and take a couple of pictures and then we'll we'll press on. There's the beauty of the boss. I like her with that gray hair. I think it looks good on her. Yeah, I think so. No, you don't need to color it. It, it. it would just look fake. You look good in gray hair. There you go. So we'll see what's next. Murray said this was an interesting structure. So we took a picture of it here. The next uh, reason that we're stopped here is to take a picture of Cobra's Mercantile. And you can see that uh, Levi's being called waist overalls. Well, we call them pants now. Who we are right in the heart of town. There's a post office. There's a church down here that we're going to get a, a picture of, and then we'll start heading back home. Back to camp. Home is where we park it. And here you go. And finally in Fort Bidwell, we have the People's Church, built in 1885. Right at the south end of town. So we're going to press on back to the way we, the way we, the way we came. We're going to turn west on California 299, head south on US 395, and then we'll find ourselves back at camp, unlikely, before too much longer. I think I've had just about enough for the day, and we'll probably take some film as we drive in. We'll see. So there you have it. We're just south of Fort Bidwell on Modoc County Road 1. I don't know the name of this dry lake, but it looks pretty sharp as we stand in the road to take a good picture of it. Wind's just now starting to pick up out here. This is God's country. So we'll see what's next.